Hello friends, my name is Linda Dolkey and I'm a demonstrator with Stampin' Up! here in Australia and today I've got a cool little tip for you. I wanted to show how you're going to use the new gilded leafing embellishments or some people would call this gold leaf embellishment um, to make an antique frame kind of a look like I've got here on this card. So this is just a tip. Um, today to show you another an alternative way of using it that's super super easy um, and I'll give you a couple of tips as I go along with how to use this to its advantage um, for this I've just created this card on a simple white card base and you might see I've got this beautiful painted look here in the background and that's created with this gorgeous absolutely beautiful paper this is new designer series paper that will come out on January 5 um, it's called the fine art floral designer series paper okay lots of awesome beautiful colors in here um, and you can see the one I used on my card here is this kind of painted blue background which is this one here I'll just bring it out okay so it's got these flowers on one side that have been painted and on the back just a really gorgeous um, painted canvas kind of a look and all of these have this beautiful painted look to them so absolutely gorgeous paper if you're looking for a really quick and simple way to design cards with a painted look this is definitely the paper for you it's absolutely gorgeous um, 12 sheets in a pack um, two of each design so really really love them all I've already gone ahead and cut the one I want to use today because I'm going to recreate this look here and what you're going to need is two pieces you're going to need a piece of cardstock on the base it doesn't have to be white because we're going to be covering it anyway but I found white easy to use with this and then this piece of painted paper that I've picked out ha has been measured to be half a centimeter or a quarter of an inch smaller on each side okay so it's just going to be framed really by this piece of paper and this is how easy this is to do Firstly, I'd be starting with a silicon mat underneath my work. I find these are great because adhesive doesn't stick to them. So if you're going to be doing something with a bit of stick like we are today, then you're really going to want to have a silicon mat under your work. They're very inexpensive and they'll save your craft table from getting sticky, which is great. I'm going to use some of our uh, stamp and seal adhesive but if you don't have this if you have snail or if you have uh, tear and tape you just want something that's going to give you a strip of adhesive but I do find this is the easiest we're going to put it so that make sure it's sticky first so that it is all the way along the edge here right across the edge and I want to make sure I've got that whole edge covered I do and I'm going to turn it and I'm going to do the same thing on each side doesn't matter if it's not perfectly straight don't panic about that a bit more there we just got to make sure that we're leaving more than that quarter inch or qu uh, half a centimeter edge because we're going to be covering that up and we want everything that's exposed to be sticky so that's pretty good I can get rid of my silicon mat all right so now I've got a piece that's got all these sticky edges and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and I'm going to put my piece of paper line it up you want to get this straight on there and I'm going to put it on top I'm trying not to touch that sticky edge too much because I want it to stay sticky all right okay just like this um, now a couple of tips about your gold leaf First of all, you want to use this not out of the container as I'm doing today, but tip it into a separate container. The reason you want it to be in a separate container is because once you take it out of here, it's really going to expand. Um, and if you have bits of sticky on your fingers, it's going to want to stick to them too. It is, it can be messy, okay? So you just want to be careful with it. Also, don't open your jar too quickly. Go nice and slow because, and take a little slowly because this stuff tends to float around in the air. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit out just with my fingers and I'm going to pop it straight down here on the edge of my piece where the sticky stuff is and I'm going to push it with my finger and I'm going to attach it to the stick now can you see here that right now it's looking kind of messy but that's okay all right so you can 
if you've got your big container which I do recommend you can just put it all back into that if you want to and we're going to continue working with it and bringing it around the edges here so I'm just covering up all the sticky bits that I've just put on This is a really fun new product and the, the effect that you get with it is absolutely stunning. Whoops, see I grabbed too much then. You only want to grab a little bit at a time. You may have seen um, artists of old actually attaching or putting this on with a brush. You can do that. Um, if you're wondering what it feels like, I'm just happy doing it with my finger. If you're wondering what it feels like, it's kind of, it feels very velvety, it's very soft. Um, and almost it's like a really real almost like a fine skin to be honest but thinner than it's actually thinner than skin it's quite amazing all right I'm going to take that bit off there and move it around and you can see I'm just pushing it on with my finger all right you can see it's a bit messy at the moment don't panic okay it's okay so now I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to start going over it now I've missed a little bit here so you want to put some gold leaf there'll be some on your table don't worry <laughs> you want to oh and I shouldn't laugh because I'm going to blow it around if I do that so yeah it's something you just kind of want to go very easy easy with but it's a lot of fun and the effect is beautiful all right now I'm going to how to get this to be a nice straight edge a couple of ways um, you can just work at it with your fingers and you can see this edge is coming together for me quite nicely I'm going over the edge with my the flat of my finger there and you can see I missed a tiny bit here with my adhesive but it doesn't look bad All right, same again so this is one way you could also attack it with a um, sanding block but you wouldn't want to you would want to do it from underneath you wouldn't want to do it on top I'll show you what I mean if you have a sanding block see how it's a little bit messy but that's okay here's my old Stampin' Up sanding block we used to sell these years ago um, but it's just some nice really fine sandpaper will also work so what you want to do you don't want to do it on top or you'll rub it off but if you go from underneath then that will also give you a nice edge you can do it with your finger just keep working at it but um, totally up to you really what feels best so I'm making sure that I get off the actual design the designer series paper I'm sort of pushing it away from that so that reveals the straight edge of the see I've got a bit sitting out there so I'm just going to go underneath here very very gently you don't need to rub hard just really really gentle and the reason it looks kind of antique is because it's not going to sit flat it's not a smooth it doesn't give you a smooth surface it almost looks like well it really does look like old oil paint to be honest okay you can brush over it if you like if you have um, a sponge like this you can just kind of rub off any excess there and then smooth it with your finger again and then it's pretty much done so for my card here I actually used the um, the stamps and dies from the floral gallery stamp set I need to I'll put that correct the correct name for that bundle up on the screen for you and this is also this little sort of postage stamp looking um, sentiment here the stamp is from that same set and the a little die is from the matching dies this gorgeous gorgeous glittery uh, ribbon is part of the suite as well so these are all parts of the suite but you could see I could have done it with this one and this would have also looked really really beautiful so you really can have a lot of fun with these i love the effect of the antique frame and i hope you love it too um 
I'll be back with more for you. Don't forget that tomorrow, the 5th of January, is the day that all these beautiful things go live um, to go shopping. If you're in Australia, just head over to my, um, I'll put in the comments my link to my store, but also to, um, to my blog and my Facebook page so you can work out which way suits you the best um, if you would like to shop for any of these products. I hope you're having a great day. Um, when it comes to cleaning up the mess, I just literally wrap up the paper and put it straight in the bin. And make sure you put the lid back on your flakes because you don't want a gust of wind to come along and <laughs> give you a give you a fright. Okay, so done. And I hope you're having a lovely day. We'll see you soon. Bye bye.